what is up welcome to the channel this is my first video ever i've been a long time viewer of reaction videos and i want to start my own so here we go we are going to start off with rugby i have always wanted to check out rugby i've gotten pretty much no idea about any of the rules other than you kick it sometimes you run it you can throw it back and yeah so let's get into it we are going to go to youtube and find a video to, to look at before we get going um i also know there's different types of rugby so i might have to dive into those too but let's see this one looks good full screen it okay Let's see how this goes. Let me get this over here. Okay. Rugby is one of England's most popular sports and is played by people of all ages, shapes and sizes, male and female. This animation teaches you about the main laws of rugby so you can have more fun watching or playing this great game. You play rugby in a jersey, shorts and boots with studs and you wear a mouth guard to protect your teeth. The ball is an oval shape and looks a bit like an egg. Because rugby originated like in the England, most there are a lot of English expressions. Basic sounding video so far. Um, there are two versions of rugby. It. There rugby go. Union and Rugby League. This Union. film is about Rugby Union, the most popular version of rugby around All the world. Right. The rugby pitch is about the same size as a football pitch. On the pitch, there are a number of lines. We start from the halfway line. Now, they mentioned football. I will say I, I'm a very casual viewer of football. I also don't know the rules very well, so I might check, some, check that out a bit too, but... From this line, the game is started or restarted after a score. Next is the 10 meter line. After the kickoff, the ball must cross this line. Then there is the 22 meter line. Next is the try line. Behind this line, you can score a try by touching the ball down. Okay, On the try so line are the rugby touchdown. posts, two vertical posts and a crossbar. The last line is the dead ball line and marks the end of the field. On the sides, you find the 5 meters line and the 15 meters line. During a line out, the players must stay between these lines. A game is two halves of 40 minutes and has a half time break of about 10 minutes. A rugby team has 15 players. Eight of them are called the forwards. These guys form the scrum and line out and do the more heavy work. Next, you have seven players called the backs, Eight forwards, and they do most of the fast seven running. Backs. The scrum half connects the forwards and the backs. The last man is the full back. You play rugby with your hands and feet. Most of the time, you carry the ball in your hands. But rugby is a team sport, so you pass the ball to your teammates. When you pass, you are only allowed to pass backwards. You do this mainly by an underhand throw across the body. But if you wish to, you can pass overhand too. You may pass as much as you want. If you decide to kick the ball, you may do so, usually to gain territory. Yeah, I've, so the, the kicking, I've seen that in like great sport moments videos where you can like, people that those kick it in the middle of play. I guess, and maybe if they're in trouble, you could get forward. Sort of like football, but yeah, I guess they'll probably talk about that now. So sick. In football, when they do that, it's like crazy, but these guys do it every fucking, every minute. There are several ways to score points. The most okay, important this, this way is, the is main, to score right, a try. This is the main thing I've, you score a try when you place the ball on the ground, on or behind the try line of your opposition. Okay, so that's like a, the result that's like a is five down. points. 
Because you scored a try, your team may also attempt to kick the ball from the ground, but it must carry between the posts and above the crossbar. This is called a conversion okay, and awards your team an extra two points, so together you score seven points. Should okay, the referee so award you a penalty kick, your team can choose to restart the game, kick for a line out or kick the ball between the posts. If you kick between the posts and score, you get three points. You can also get points at any time during the game by scoring a drop goal. When you intentionally drop the ball in front of you and kick it immediately after it hits the ground. As with a conversion and penalty, it must travel between the posts. Okay, so is a penalty kick is like if someone commits an infraction on you, you can kick it? Is that what that was? Or is it more like a field goal in football where you... Yeah, then the drop goal, you can just do whatever you want. This also wins your team three points. I can definitely talk about that and inspire by this if these are the ones so far. Kick definitely looks like it's going Suppose you throw the ball forwards or you drop the ball and it bounces forward. In both cases, the referee will decide that a scrum must be formed. A scrum in both throw the ball. Suppose you throw the ball forwards, or you drop the ball, and it bounces forward. Okay. In so both you, cases. So if, if you if you throw the ball forward or drop it and it goes forward, that's a foul, and the, they do like a. The referee will decide that a scrum must be formed. A scrum. A okay. scrum is a restart after a foul, where the ball travels forward from the hand. The okay. forward. Sorry. How is how is a penalty? I'm so confused about a penalty kick. So someone explain the penalty kicks, or I'll look it up after, maybe. ...of both teams set in a specific formation and set against each other, like you can see in this view from above. Next, the scrum half will roll the ball straight into the middle of the scrum, and both teams are allowed to contest for the ball by pushing and using their feet after the ball has entered the scrum to move the ball backwards. While the ball is in the scrum, you are not allowed to touch it with your hands. When the ball comes out of the scrum, it is usually the scrum half who will pass it to one of the waiting players, and the next attack will start. Alright, so you push each other. It's like a tug of war. Kind of. Until the ball is free behind them. If the ball leaves the field of play because it's kicked out or because a player with the ball is tackled and falls across the touchline or the foot of a player who is holding the ball touches the touchline, the game will be restarted with a line-out. To form a line-out, the forwards of both teams will stand in separate lines between the 5 and 15 metre lines. Next, the ball will be thrown straight in between the two lines by the team in possession. The player who can jump the highest, and he may be lifted by his teammates, may catch the ball or tap yeah, it I've, to I've his scrum half. The, uh, With lifting, this ball possession, thing. they can start That's to crazy. attack again. Okay, so it's like a free throw, and then they... Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> the unique thing about rugby is that you can stop players by tackling but can only tackle a player who is in possession of the ball. Okay, You're only that's, allowed that's to use your hands, arms, and body. Yeah, that's you can grab to, the man with... I'm a huge hockey fan, and yeah, interference and hitting guys without the, without the puck in hockey is, like, super dangerous. I know in football you can hit, you can block guys without the ball, and that's always been, like, crazy to me because that's just the most dangerous type of hit, and the guy's not ready for it at all. So with the ball good, everywhere except that. his neck and head you can't are not allowed to kick him or tackle him while he's in the air 
If you do, the referee will send you off the field immediately by issuing a yellow or red card. The most common way to tackle is using the shoulder and arms, targeting an opposition player yeah, below the waist there, there so he right. falls to the ground. Yeah, without the padding, it's like... I guess it sort of presents injury, injuries not having padding because the, the hitter still has to... Like, it hurts the hitter as well when we tackle. During the game, you will often see two situations. A ruck and more. But what are these? Suppose a player carrying the ball makes contact with a player who wants to tackle him. But instead of falling on the ground, they keep standing up. Immediately, teammates of both teams will join this formation to compete for the ball, which will be somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. This formation so like is called live, the mall. It's like a live the man with the ball will try to turn his back to his opponents and make the ball available for his teammates. If a maul takes too long, the referee will award a scrum in favour of the team moving forward. Okay. Where's the... Oh, there it is, okay. A ruck is formed after the man with the ball is tackled and the players fall on the ground. During this situation, two very important rules come into play. The man who made the tackle must let go of the tackled player, and the man who is tackled must release the ball immediately. Players of both teams will bind as a unit with each other over the ball group and compete to win the ball with their feet and pushing back the opposing players. So fall down. I'm gonna keep going, yeah. Okay. There are several ways to be offside. Oh, no One offside of the most common me. ways is during a maul, when players are competing to get possession of the ball or to stop them all being driven towards the try line. The offside line starts at the heel of the foot of the last person in the maul and runs across the field from touchline to touchline. No one can enter the mall unless they do so from behind that player's foot. Though rugby is a physical and sometimes tough sport, a, a rugby player always respects his opponent and the referee. Whatever the referee decides, you will never contest their decision or risk being penalized. <coughs> sure After every game, you pay your respects to your opponents the and the referee by <laughs> applauding them when they leave the field. Respect and sportsmanship are two of the most important values of rugby union. Okay. Hopefully, with this That's explanation, you will rocky. enjoy watching rugby it's even so more. Like, but if you are a boy or a girl else. and want to play rugby yourself, go to englandrugby.com and find a rugby club near yeah. you. This looks like it's, it's possible to start playing rugby, whether you're 5, 15, down. 25 or 35. It's fun for all ages. Your local club will train you to become a rugby player. Yeah. So yeah, in, in Canada where I'm at, the in like high school growing up, like they didn't have football. It was all like you just play rugby instead of football. I never played it, but yeah, it was interesting that they in Canada. You can it's play safe still and ensure you enjoy this fantastic game. Rugby's good for you. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a pretty good intro to rugby. Um, I'll probably need to watch another video if you have any suggestions about like rules. Um, yeah, the main thing I was, I'm still confused about penalty kicks, how, how a penalty kick is awarded. They didn't really say when a penalty kick occurs. I'm assuming if you like if you hit a guy in the air or something that would constitute a, a penalty kick but if someone could clarify that would be great and yeah i guess the other one what was the other type of rugby i said the start um rugby rugby league okay so i'll probably watch a rugby league video next to see that and then compare them i guess and then yeah, we'll do big hits, highlights, greatest moments, all that stuff in the future. 
And I was also thinking of potentially looking at cricket because that is another sport that I've always been pretty interested in, but I've never, I've just never like bothered to learn about it. So yeah, um, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully that wasn't the most boring video you've ever watched. It's the first time I've done one of these, so yeah, this is probably rough. <laughs> Um, yeah, comment below if you have any videos you want me to watch. That's about it. See ya.